Where did I leave my book? What was I looking for? My book. Oh, great. <coughs> what were you doing to my aunt? <laughs> Me? I was sound asleep when all of a sudden your auntie jumped all over me. I thought I was being attacked. Oh, in your dreams. I was looking for this. Yeah. I need a shower. I gotta head down to headquarters. Well, I trust you'll see that another officer is assigned to protect Sheridan while you're gone. Look, Sam told you that this is an FBI matter. It's not the Harmony PD's problem. If you don't like the protection that your Aunt Sheridan is getting, then hire some more private security. Oh, well, I already did. And they're uh, patrolling the estate now. Oh, well, what do you know? The crane who takes the threat seriously. Mm. Hank's helping to guard me. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Well, finally, something we can all agree upon. Just don't leave Sheridan alone until Hank gets here, okay? Well, like I'd do anything to endanger Sheridan. You see, I only want what is best for her. Unfortunately, we're stuck with you. Yeah? Well, you don't like the way that I'm guarding her? Why don't you grab a weapon and stand post? Uh, I'm not a professional bodyguard. That's right. You're not. So why don't you shut up and let the pros handle it? You know, I don't think I like your tone. Well, then why don't you stop throwing your weight hey, around? Hey, okay, 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 enough, enough. You know, this isn't getting us anywhere. Well, I'll be in the shower. Just in case you happen to forget something and wind up in the bathroom. I can't believe that guy. I can't believe him either. Although... You almost have to give Luis the benefit of the doubt. He has saved my life on more than one occasion, and... I mean, if it weren't for him, Ivy might not be alive. Yeah, I know. And I just can't believe that a nice girl like Teresa has a brother like Luis. I have Julian for a brother, so go figure. <laughs> Is there any particular reason you're here? Actually, I need to talk to you. About what? Well... Only something that can change my whole life. Practically shake the family to its core. That sounds serious. It is. I need to talk to you about my feelings for Teresa. I knew this would happen. You've been spending so much time with Teresa lately, planning this wedding, that it was inevitable that you'd start to develop feelings for her. Look, Sheridan, it is more complicated than that. I'll say. You are engaged to marry Gwen. You've said all along that you love her, not Teresa, that Gwen is the woman you want to spend the rest of your life with. I know. And I meant it. Then or now. Ethan... Have your feelings changed? Have you fallen in love with Teresa? Ethan, have you fallen in love with Teresa? Whoops. Uh, I guess I should have knocked. I obviously walked in on something. No, no, Hank, it's all right. I, I was just leaving. I wanted to talk about this. Look, I know now that talking about this won't solve anything. I need to make a decision. I, I have to. On my own. Thanks for listening. Be safe. Hey, keep an eye on her, Hank. On Hank, look, thanks for guarding Sheridan. I know she'll be safe in your hands. Hello? Yeah, I'm just checking to make sure Hank got there and everything's okay. Everything is more than okay, Louise. When I'm with Hank, I feel like the safest woman in the world. <laughs> 